Hello! Welcome back to more Little Kitty Big City. I'm so excited. Hey y'all, love the editor here. I forgot to move my mic a little closer to my face, so I sound a little more echoey. Uh, I'll move my mic in just a few minutes, but I'm so sorry about this. I have been thinking non-stop about this game since I played it last. I just, I'm so ready. I also realized I forgot to eat the fish before I left last time. So, oh! I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Adorable. This delicious fish has given you the energy to climb ivy. I had a sneaking suspicion the ivy was going to be playing a role in something. We got a shiny. Maybe if I can remember how to pick it up. There we go. We got two more shiny. Is that a goose? <laughs> ah, hello there. Oh, it's a duck. I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance. I think it will depend on the problem. Eh? Oh, I see. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's rather a pressing concern. Although perhaps I'm just panicking. But there's no two ways about it. <laughs> about what? Didn't I say? I seem to have mislaid my ducklings? Mislaid? Is that a bird joke? I don't follow. Never mind. Missing ducklings sounds pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? We were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood. Me teaching the youngsters some local history. For example, you know, the robot statue in the park behind us? I didn't even know there was a robot statue. Oh, you should absolutely visit it. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense, either. Legend has it it was a wise little... Legend has it that a wise duck, not too from dissimilar from myself in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots. Delightful. Back then this was a lake, hulking great wet thing where that pair would swim, splashing and frolicking, you know the sort of thing. Robots in water, huh? Huh? <laughs> all that fizzing and sputtering? Not simpatico after all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees. The robot, not the duck, I mean. Do we not have two animals that are just like inventors or mechanics? <laughs> the robot's swimming days are over. Terribly sad stuff. So he asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. <laughs> Could never get my head around computers myself. Okay. The duck helped the program, program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Grand idea, that, <laughs> and it went beautifully. But, <laughs> one fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster? Wait, a monster? Gekku, oh. The lore is connecting. Usually the Gekku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity callus. Lovely chap, apart from the rampages, really. Is this, like, their version of a kaiju? Rampages? Ah, yes. Humans write those up in their little paper documentaries. Very engaging, really. AP of doc- You mean comics? So, Geku kidnaps the duck and- Whoopsie-daisy. Throws him through a star portal. Whoosh. Quack. Never to be heard again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. Are you saying Geku's connected your children? Oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with the ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for a little show and tell session. Oh my goodness, I need to go to this animal show and tell. That sounds fun. Oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions, all very exciting in the moment. But ah, and I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha! <laughs> Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see. But I didn't want us to be rushing around missing another one. Dreadful when that happens. So I retraced my steps back here and waited. No luck? Alas, no. But you seem like a practical sort of cat. Very resourceful. So we could team up? <laughs> I could- I'll keep watch here. Been kind of enjoying it, really. And you scout the city. The way he talks gives me, uh, Wheatley vibes. <laughs> Just the way he's like, I'll keep watch here. Kind of really enjoying recently. And you scout out the city? <laughs> 
the whole city. It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be another way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing. Part of our project to catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings mark each of their favorite places on it too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet that's where they've gone. Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. Oh my goodness, we got a map. Map made by the ducklings. It's really good. Press up to view the map. Oh my goodness, this is precious. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I now have to find three little ducklings. I'm like trying to remember the controls and everything. Oh, right. It was this for zoomies. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go do some cat investigating and also get some shinies in the process. Oh, okay, I see a bone, which means there's probably a dog somewhere nearby. But well, let's see what we can find here. Let's start with at least collecting some shinies. Is that? Oh my God, the robot has a little bow tie on it. Can I hop up here? Nope. Let me grab this little shiny. I'm gonna hold on to this uh, bone just in case. Just in case it's come across anything suspicious. Little shiny. So now I don't know what I'm picking up shinies. I wonder if I'm still giving shinies to crows, to the crow, so that he can give me more fish. Hmm. Oh, the map. Oh, it shows where they are on the map. Okay, okay. Let's go. So we gotta... Oh, I wish I could, like, mark the mini-map. Like, ping it. That would be so helpful. But at least I know where I'm going. Leave. Oh! Hello! Hold on, let me, how do I talk to you? Kitty, you look like the kind of cat who enjoys a stylish accessory or two. Thanks for noticing. You know what, I'll play, I'll play optimistic. I'm a very observant Corvid. You are. Well, it was nice to see you again. Unrelatedly, have you heard about my new and glorious business venture? <laughs> we did learn last time that the one thing crows know is supply and demand. Ah, it's called shh. For hats. I will get you as many shinies as you need if I can just keep getting little fancy hats. It's going to be called shinies for hats. Aha, that's the clever part. I'm not selling hats. I'm selling access to hats. You see, the hats live in these little pod machines. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use the machines. I'm not a helpless kitty. Now let's not quibble over who called whom helpless. Not when there are hats at stake. Only I, Crow, can perform the ancient Crow ritual of inserting a token and turning the knob. That doesn't sound very difficult. Which brings us to business. My proposition is as follows. Five lets you hire one Crow, that's me, to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No, I'm a facilitator operating within a gig economy framework. Oh boy. <laughs> the business called Shinies for Hats? Yes, but only because Shinies for access to crows who have access to hats. Tested poorly with consumers. <laughs> yeah, I'll get one hat. You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. And do you want a hat or not? Yes, please. Here you go. I don't know if this was random or if this is planned, but oh my god, this is the best hat I could have ever gotten. How do I put on hats again? Um, ah, inventory. Even that fucking witch hat. Ah, it's so cute. Oh. 
Oh, this makes me so happy. You, sir, do you want to get uh, tripped by a witch cat? Oh, well, my tripping skills need a little bit of work. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I got his phone. Come get me now, businessman. Oh my god, does he not even want his phone? <laughs> He's just gonna let me take his phone? Okay. Bye bye. Um, were there more shinies over here? I feel like I saw something. Oh, it's the crow. Or not the crow, the bird. How do I get to them? Because they're glowing, which I feel like means there's something to them. But I don't know how to... They always fly away too fast. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so many bottle caps. Oh, this is so good. Give me these bottle caps! <laughs> I can afford so many hats now. I'm gonna be the coolest cat in town. Okay, anyways. Ducks. I need to go back over here. It should be... Oh no. It's... Oh no, that's a fan. Okay. Oh, I see. This little duckling. Is it in the arcade? <laughs> look, look, look. What are we looking at? Only one of the greatest games of all time. Um, are you old enough to be watching this? My dad says I have an old soul. <laughs> Speaking of your dad, he asked me to come collect you for show and tell. Sure. That was easy. It must be a catch. I'll go as soon as the screen stops showing things. And there it is. When will that be? No idea. I think it's looping, so it might never end. But if the screen goes dark, do you promise that you'll come back to your dad? Duckling's honor. Okay, what do I need to unplug? Let me, uh... Can I swipe these? Um... Maybe if I just jump on it. Hmm. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on. If I can move this bucket... Or even move this electrical strip to replace where the bucket is. But it's not letting me... Okay, wait. There's got to be something else in here that I can use. I don't know what that accomplished. Oh. No, I didn't mean to pick up the soda can. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> So I'm just causing vandalism now. Destroying property. Just cat things. Hi, whoa, are the walls supposed to be sliding around like that? Look at how he's dressed. He is bad to the bone. When I blink, I can see purple shades. I think some time away from the screen will be a very good idea. Shall we get back to your dad? Okay, I can tell him all the new combos I saw M. Bilson do. Let's waddle. Wait, does he only fall when I stop? Nope. He just falls whenever. This is so cute. Let's get you back to your father. Oh my god. Ah, what a relief. Wait, this isn't a full brood. That's sort of the thing my partner tends to notice. Should I leave them here while I carry on the search? No, I'll help. Let me help. You can stay with the kitty as long as you promise to behave nicely. I promise. Hmm, a kitty being followed by ducklings reminds me of a story I heard as a youngster. Quite the epic tale that was. You see, psst, kitty, let's go. <laughs> okay, duckling, where is your, where are your siblings? So we need to turn around. Okay. Over here.
Oh, this little goober. The little pitter-patters! The pitter-patters are so cute! Oh, hi, Crow. Okay, where is your brother at? Oh, there's a wall right here. No, wait, no, this should be okay. Mmm. Let me, uh, let me just, uh, deliver this right here. And now... Oh, I'm hearing... I keep hearing those small birds, and I keep thinking they're, uh, more ducklings. Okay, we gotta go down here. And it looks like... I can't tell which duckling is the one that's on me. Okay, no, I see now. Is it in the store? No, this lady is not too fond of me <laughs> from the jam incident. If this duck is in here... Did I get scared of a cucumber? Can I not go past here? Oh, no, I can. Oh my god, this is incredible. What hat did I get? What hat did I get? When I need to make like a banana and split. This truly is game of the year. Okay, where is this duck? Is he up there? Oh, he's on the move. Okay, whichever way I'm facing, that's the way he is. He's got to be in the store, right? But like, hi, lady. Could he be in here somewhere? Nope. It says I'm... Oh, is he above me? I don't see any. I don't see any ducks. Okay, if I were a duck hanging around a little bodega, where exactly would I be? Now, these are also very small critters, so it could be very easy to lose them in plain sight. But I swear, he's right over here. Let me get high up. Let me see if maybe I can see him from up here. Anything? I love that the little duckling can fly up to me. I'm sorry, I'll give you space up here. Or did you can land! <laughs> Where is he? I'm so confused. He's in the shop somewhere. Maybe he is in the back. Or maybe I need to climb up here to get to him. Come on, let me up there. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> okay. Just make this jump. Make this one. Make. Okay. Oh, there's definitely a... <laughs> There's definitely a duck up here. There he is. Hello up there. Hi, are you here to see me fly? I'm super great at it. You are, but that isn't why I'm here. Your dad asked me to find you and bring it back to the pond. Is it time for the show and tell already? It is. Oh, okay. But, uh, is there a problem? Not a problem, exactly. It's just I don't quite know how I started flying, so I don't quite know how to stop. I see. So, unfortunately, I would have to just stay up here. Whee! <laughs> Leave it with me. I'll have you down shortly. Okay, but not too shortly, if you don't mind. How do we get a cat down from there? I'm going to probably assume I have to turn off the air conditioning. But the real question is, how do I do that? Oh. 
I see. <laughs> All this little box of flower, it looks like. There we go. Oh, it's so weird being on ground again. Were you scared being stuck up there like that? Birds aren't really scared of stuff like that. Dad says the flying is in our feathers. Speaking of your dad, we should get back to him for show and tell. I can tell him all about the flying. Do you think he saw me in the air? I went up so high, he must have. Let's go and then we can ask him. Okay, we have the second duck. Now we need the third one. Uh, will I die if I jump off this roof? Oh, but I kind of want to see what else is up here, though. Yeah, I know my way back up here. Whee! Oh. Oh, it doesn't let me jump off the roof. Dang. Whee! Oh. Oh my god, I'm a little parkour master. Hello, my little ducklings. Time to go find your last sibling. So I need to go to the left a little bit. Onward, little avians. Oh no, why do I feel like he's... Oh, he's like in or on top of the store somewhere. Maybe I should have stayed up there. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. I can climb now. Ooh, but my stamina is not the greatest. I can just get up here and then parkour my way. Hmm. Yeah, let me wait. No. Jump. Oh, maybe. Please, 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 please. Yeah! Okay. Celebratory. Knock you off. Knock you off. Oh, I'm seeing now. Swipe you off real quick. <laughs> oh! Nope. It would have been fun if I could, like, smush that button. Okay, what's up here? Oh, it's a napping spot! Oh, that is the best place. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I need to get this angle one more time. I wonder where the duck is. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did you get in there? Hello in there! Your dad sent me to fetch you for the show and tell. But my ride hasn't finished. I can't get out while it's going. How long does I have left? I don't know. I fed it 400 shinies. How long does that get me? Where'd you get 400 shinies? Humans throw them into the pond and make wishes. I so Get out of the wish pond! I assume they wished for me to have a great day in the machine. <laughs> But what about your dad? You can take me back to dad as soon as the door pops open. You promise? I promise. There must be a way to get that door open without waiting. What was that? Nothing. Just talking to myself. See you after the ride. Alright. Let's put all of my brain cells together. And I'm probably gonna assume I have to hit that button. Where'd you come from? I bet you're wondering how to push that button, huh? You read my mind. It's pretty easy. You just have to use your head. And by use your head, 
I mean, hit RB, <laughs> run head first at the button. Oh, that's so smart. Okay, then what? Then nothing. You just bonk the button with your head and that's it. Won't that hurt? You're made of stronger stuff than that, kitty. A little bonk to the noggin won't harm a tough cat like you. Are you sure? Certain. Just run head first towards the button. It won't press itself after all. Thank you, silly orange cat. Let me get back up here. Okay, yeah, hold on. No, hold on. Let me jump over this. Okay. Charge! <laughs> that sounded so hard. <laughs> did you see me in there? I was tumbling everywhere. I did. Aren't you a bit dizzy now? Nope, but I am very warm and fluffy. This must be what it feels like to be a towel. Oh my god, look at those fucking green eyes. Anyways, I can't wait to tell Daddle about the death-defying dryer machine. Shall I go find him then? Yep, let's go. That's so cool that they all have their little, little own designs. How do we get back out? Will you tell us how to get out? Remember, just run head first towards the button. Alright, well, I'll just go out the way that we came in. I'm also learning that when you go up to something, you don't have to, because when you're jumping, you have to, like, judge how far you're going to go. If you just go up to, like, a wall, it'll automatically get to the top of it, assuming you can reach it. So I don't have to, like, hold it to aim up. But that should be all of them. Oh, how many ducklings do you have, my guy? All right, let's go. Let's go here. Oh, hi, kitty. Or hi, person. I'm the kitty. <laughs> um. Okay, which way am I going? Maybe a little more this way. Sorry. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Do you have... Is there a way to get around you? Oh, these vines. I can probably get up these. Yeah! Alright. Then we go around town a little bit. Do I have all my ducklings? Cool. Get up here. And then we do a little loop-de-loop -loop and pull. Oh, well, maybe not like that. Is he in the can- Oh, this game is amazing. <laughs> Look at me! I have a pond all to myself! Are you sure it's a pond? I'm a duck. We know about ponds. My apologies. I think it might be time to get out of the pond, though. Your dad sent me to collect you for show and tell. But there's still water to play in. Look at him bouncing. He's so happy. It's cold and wet. Yuck. Wait, so does this mean you can't collect me until I'm out of the water? Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fun time forever. I should have seen this coming. Let's be a way to get this little one out of the water without getting wet. Alright, let's investigate. Napping spot. Person. I'm maybe already seeing. I see a fish. Well, that's just rude. Ma'am, this is not what it looks like. I promise. I just want that fish. Fine. Thank you for not giving a fuck that I'm in your shop right now. Okay, if we push this back here. Nope. Oh. <clears throat> can I pull you sideways? I can only pull you one direction. Hmm. Can I move the fan? I can. 
Oh, excuse me, little ducks. Oh, god damn it. Okay, hold on. Let me pull this. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, no. Can I push? Okay, hold on. I made this a little difficult for myself by accident. But it's okay, because now I can get the fish. How do I? Aha! Oh! Hey, yo! Okay, wait. Let me pull this. So now we can climb a little better. Can I pull this, please? No! I promise I'm not doing anything mischievous. Except I am! Why is it not letting me pull this? That's what I would like to know. Did I, like, soft-locked myself with this? I literally can't pull this anymore. I'm so confused. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait, is it working now? Well, how about that? <laughs> oh, thank god. I was so scared. I got, like, soft-locked myself or something. I would've been so sad. But no, we are good. And now, we can drag this fan to its intended place. I'm not actually quite not sure what the fan is supposed to do. I don't know if it's gonna tr Wait, what did it do? Did it just scare? <laughs> I was starting to get a bit tired and it was a big bit hungry anyways. Ooh, maybe Devil has snacks. You can ask him to show and tell. I forgot in show and tell. That would be a perfect place to tell everyone about the swimming I did. Let's go, kitty. All right, oh God. Alright, you little rugrats. Let's get you back to your dad. This is so... Oh yeah, there he is. Hello, Mr. Father, sir. One, two, three, and four! That's all of them! What a relief. I was starting to get a little panicky. Reunite the family! I was the most fine. You were not. Was too. Children, please. You, uh, you were all exactly the same amount of fine. It's nice to meet you all. Oh, children, have you thanked the kind Katie for all their help? Thank you. <laughs> no, not you. We're thanking the kitty. Where's the tiny goober? Where is the fourth one? Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, kitty. Please take this as a reward. Oh my god, I can be a duck! I'm always a part of the duck family! Oh, that's so cute! Hold on, I gotta see this duck hat in action. Where is it? Where is it? Duck hat. Oh, this is adorable. And look at them at show and tell. Oh, this is precious. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I will probably end that episode right there. But thank you for watching. It was a little weird with the, with the little glitch, but we got through it. And uh, we got to meet the duck family and a new cat. Uh, it was really fun. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm so glad I picked it up. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye <laughs>